morning everyone it's miss allen from billings public library i'm glad that you can join me again for another story time hope that you've had an opportunity to go outside and enjoy the beautiful spring days we've been having maybe you've been able to go for a walk or even just ride your bike in your yard or maybe you've had an opportunity to participate in our teddy bear hunt remember last uh, earlier this week we talked about having a teddy bear hunt in billings in our community so if you are not participating in or had not heard about that we want to be putting our teddy bears in our front windows and then um, we will be listing communities neighborhoods that are participating and people can go for walks or go for drives and find the teddy bears in their neighborhoods okay if your neighborhood is not got on our list please let us know down in the comments that your neighborhood is participating so we can have everyone out looking for bears while social distancing right rusty that's right so stories today are not going to be about bears they're going to be about bunnies but let's do our hello song before we get started are you ready two little hands go clap 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 two little feet go tap 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 two little fists go thump 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 and two little feet go jump 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 one little child turns round and round and one little child sits quietly down Alrighty, so our first story today is called Hungry Bunny, and this book is by Claudia Ruda. Look at him. Isn't he cute? What is he reaching for? Is that an apple? Alrighty, let's find out. Hungry Bunny. Here I come. Can you hear my tummy rumble? I'm one hungry bunny. It's time for red, delicious, and hard to reach apple. That's right. Maybe you could help. Could you please? Are you ready? You have to help me. Are you ready? We need to shake. We're going to shake the book so that all the apples fall down. Do you think we did it? Not the leaves. Okay, so now we need to blow the leaves away. Are you ready? You think that worked? Let's see. Oh, that's much better. Thank you. The apple's still up there. Oh no, my scarf blew away and it's stuck in the book. I'm still hungry. What are we gonna do? Could you grab my scarf? Can you take the scarf? Take it down. Oh. Will you place the scarf here for me and hold it tight? Can you hold on tight to it? I can use it to climb the tree and pick these tasty apples. You holding on to the scarf? Pull it tight. Just one more. Is he throwing them out of the tree? What is he throwing them into? Is that a wagon? That's right, a little red wagon. Great teamwork. I got them all. Can you hang on to that scarf for me? Okay, are you holding on to the scarf still? I don't want it to go away. Blow away, probably. Whoops, I'm running late. What an uphill battle. Is he running up the hill? Oh, that's hard, isn't it, with a basket full? Wait, wait a minute. Why am I going uphill? Could we help go downhill how could we do that do we need to tilt can we can fix that can you tilt the book for me are you ready going to tilt everybody's going to tilt here he comes easy as pie now my wheels are turning look is he running down the hill good job guys are you all tilted why don't we have some more fun how about rocking? Can you rock back and forth? So he's going to go over bumps, is he? Zowie, keep going. You ready? And get ready to turn. Can we turn? Can you all turn around? Good job. And he keeps going. Look at that. Uh-oh. 
Get ready to. Is he gonna tumble right out of there? He is. He's gonna fall out of the wagon. Oops, I guess I upset the apple cart. Where are all the apples? Are there any apples left in the wagon? They're gone. Here they are. I'll just pick them up. Can you help pick them up? Can you? Let's see here. Did you pick them all up? <gasps> On the road again. But what's this? Is that a big opening in the rocks? Hey, I think I'm going to need some help. Can you use my scarf to make a bridge? Okay, so pull out the scarf and hold it straight. He's going to walk right across that hole or crevice in the rocks. Perfect. Thank you. I'm at the end of my rope. Good thing I'm almost home. I can't switch the page. There we go. Uh, I'm stuck. Would you give me a little push? Can you push? Can you push him? Push, push, push. You think he went through the hole? Pop. Right on time for mom's apple pie. Look at how the bunnies putting the apples in the pie. Not a bad apple in the bunch. Yum. We even saved a piece of pie for you. Was that good pie? That was, wasn't it? That was fun to help him find the apples. Alrighty, so our first song is called Little Rabbit. So I need you to make little rabbit ears. Can you make rabbit ears? Very good. I saw a little rabbit go hop, hop, hop. I told the little rabbit to stop, stop, stop. He wiggled his ears and he crunched up his nose and he wiggle, wiggle, wiggled right down to his toes. Can you do that? Oh, see, there's the kitty again. He likes to get in the movies. If you watch Books and Babies this week, he's been in there too. That's Jedi. I think he wants to be a movie star. Get down, kitty. All right, you ready? Let's do our bunny ears. I saw a little rabbit go hop, hop, hop. I told that little rabbit to stop, stop, stop. He wiggled up his ears and he grunted up his nose. Then he wiggle, wiggle, wiggle right down to his toes. Good job. What are you doing up here? Alrighty, our next story is called Duck Rabbit. Is that a duck with his, e with his mouth right there? Or is that a rabbit? with his ears right there. I know it's kind of hard. You'll have to decide if it's a duck or a rabbit. And this is by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and Tom Lichtenheld. Ready? Hey, look, it's a duck. That's not a duck, that's a rabbit. Which do you see? Are you kidding me? It's totally a duck. It's for sure a rabbit. What do you think? See, there's his bill. See if he opens his bill like that. What are you talking about? Those are his ears. You see his ears? It's a duck and he's about to eat a piece of bread. See, there's his mouth and the bread's going to go right in. It's a rabbit, and he's about to eat a carrot. Do you see his mouth would be right here? Those are his ears. Which do you think it is? Do you think it's a bunny, a rabbit, or a duck? Wait, listen. Do you hear that? I hear duck sounds. Quack, 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 quack. That's funny because I distinctly heard rabbit sounds. <laughs> Well, now the duck is wading through the swamp. No, the rabbit is hiding in the grass. It's a tough one. Which do you think it is? There, you see, it's flying. 
See, he's flying. No, he's hopping. Hmm. Uh-oh. Look, the duck is so hot. He's getting a drink of water. Do you think that's his his uh, his bill and he's opened it up to get some water? No, the rabbit is so hot, he's cooling off his ears. Wow, it could be either one, don't you think? Here, look at the duck through my binoculars. Sorry, it's still a rabbit. Here, ducky, ducky, ducky. Here, you cute little rabbit. Who do you think's gonna come? Is it gonna be a duck? Oh, great. You scared him away. I didn't scare him away. You scared him away. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe it was a rabbit. Thing is, now I'm actually thinking it was a duck. Which picture do you think it was? We might never know, I don't think. Well, anyway, now what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Hey, look, it's an anteater. Is this his tail? And he's eating some ants out of an ant log? That's not an anteater, that's a brontosaurus. Is that his tail down here? And he's eating some leaves right here? The end. So we never did find out. Do you think it was a duck or do you think it was a rabbit? I don't know. You might have to tell me in the comments if you think it was a duck or a rabbit. Not going to tell you what I think, though. Alrighty. So, our next song, I bet some of your grown-ups know this one. We used to sing this when I was little. This is called Little Bunny Foo Foo. Make your bunny sounds. And he likes to scoop up field mice and bop them on the head. Can you do that? Ready, here it goes. Little bunny foo-foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. And down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'm going to give you three chances. And if you don't behave, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Do you think he listened? Little bunny foo-foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. And down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'm going to give you two more chances to behave. And if you don't behave, I'm going to turn you into a goon. <gasps> Do you think he listened to this time? Little bunny foo-foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. <gasps> Down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't like your attitude. Running through the field, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. This is your last chance. If you don't behave, then I'm going to turn you into a goon. And it won't be pretty. Do you think he listened? Little bunny foo-foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and she said, that's it. And then she turned little foo-foo into a goon. <laughs> See, you have to listen. Alrighty, before we do our last book, I just want to remind everybody, if you haven't signed up for a thousand books before kindergarten and you have a little one at home that you've been reading to, now's the perfect time. Hop onto our website, our children's page at billingslibrary.org has a link to our thousand books before kindergarten page where you can register there or you can download the app. And then you're going to want to just keep track of all the books you're reading, including the books I read here. 
Those count. Every book you read, whether you read the same book three or four times a day, which happens, or you read a new one every day, count those books. And then when we're open back up, you'll have a ton of prizes to come pick up. All kinds of fun things like coupons and little puppets and crayons, lots of fun things. But you got to be signed up for a thousand books before kindergarten. If you have any problems or issues, you can always message our Facebook page or you can email the kids desk at kids desk. So K-I-D-S-D-E-S-K at billingsmt.gov. And I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Okay. Alrighty. Last story is called Big Bunny. And this is by Rowboat Watkins. Look at his teeth. He's a big bunny. Once upon a time, there was a big bunny. His tail. A ginormously scary bunny. No, he was just big and he lived on a ginormous floating carrot. No, he lived on a round planet that grew what did he grow? Monstrous, delicious carrots? No. Look, he's eating a little carrot. Is he cute? But there were lots of tasty, normal carrots. Okay, fine. Do you see my kitty in the background? He's being naughty right now. He's being naughty. But tasty carrots are so small. They're not that small. When you get to be the, when do we get to the scary part of the story? Do you want a scary part of the story? Big Bunny ate 10 carrots in one bite. Well, that's not scary. Without chewing? Still not scary. 20 carrots? No. 200 carrots? Sorry. He ate carrots by the truckload. Wait, there are trucks on this planet? Well, yes. Look at, he's got that carrot truck. He's eating all the carrots. Does Big Bunny eat the trucks? No. Why not? He's too full of carrots. Look at him. Look at how big he is. Oh, my goodness. He crunched, 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 crunched all the carrots. But trucks are tastier. No, they aren't. Well, trucks are, were, trucks are crunchier. But trucks aren't edible. You can't eat trucks. So what happened to them? They got stuck in traffic. Traffic is so boring. That's why they built a bridge. Wait, who built a bridge? The trucker penguins did. Penguin truck drivers? Yeah, they had to build bridges. This story is worse than traffic. Well, fine, then you tell it. So after Big Bunny ate the bridge and all the trucks, he went looking for more to eat. Wait, he ate the bridge? Yep, and all the crunchy, tr crunchy trucks. And he's still hungry? Very hungry. So what happened to the penguins? Oh, they all went to Florida. But penguins don't fly. That's why the giraffes drove them. Wait, what, what, what giraffes? The giraffes who drive the buses. Giraffes drive buses? Yep, they build very tasty buildings too. Buildings are not edible. They're not tasty. I wouldn't tell the big bunny that. He's eating a building. He is eating everything. He is a gigantic bunny. Listen, I don't like all this eating nonsense, but we're finally at the best part. Is that a mom and a dad, um, or a mom or a dad lettuce head have, making a story time with their little baby lettuce? Crunchy, scary ending. Look, they had all the carrots and the cars, and then a bunny showed up. Is he the big scary bunny from their story? Could be. There's a cute little story about a big bunny, or actually about somebody making up a story, right? Do you get to make up stories while you're at home? That's some of the best things to do. Sit down as a family and make up a story. 
In fact, we used to do this where, where one person would have one sentence and the next person and the next person and we would just keep going around until we had a crazy, almost like big bunny story of craziness, right? And then you could always write those down and make illustrations or pictures to go with them and you'd have your family story to get you through COVID-19. I sure miss all of you. I can't wait till we can get back in the library. Make sure that you join me every Monday and Thursday for story time, okay? Until then, let's sing our goodbye song. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap. Oh, what am I doing? I'm singing our hello song. I need to sing our goodbye song. I guess I just don't want you guys to leave today, huh? Alrighty, let's go. On my face, I have a nose. On my feet, I have ten toes. I have two eyes that I can blink. And here's my head so I can think. I have a chin and very near. I have two ears so I can hear. I have two arms I reach up high. And with my hands I wave goodbye. Don't forget to put your teddy bears out in your window. See you soon. Bye.